while the Kremlin propaganda machine is building an escalation ladder with the West, while terminals in Theodosia burn for the four days. And Ukrainian drones continue to attack Russian air bases and Shahed storage depots, like in the recent attack in Krasnodarsky Krai. And let's once again look at the imperial nature of the entire Russian foreign policy. They remember the way the world looked during the Cold War. The Warsaw Pact countries, Soviet occupation of the Baltic states and Ukraine, Belarus. These countries fall in the Russian sphere of influence and in their opinion because there once was a Russian soldier standing there. And we can hear the same revisionist rhetoric on basically the main Russian state propaganda channel at Solovyov's talk show. Look. Europe was deliberately unifying, steadily and skillfully drawn into NATO. Former Warsaw Pact countries, former Soviet republics were getting pulled into NATO. The West was moving closer and closer to the borders. Ukraine was the last straw. So, for those still caught up in this narrative, whether they realize it or not, claiming that we attacked Ukraine, no, we are delivering a counter-strike, which honestly, we should have done a long time ago. This was a Russian filmmaker, Karen Shakhnazarov, in case you still wondered whether culture is a weapon for Russians. The whole idea of bringing something back that once was under Russian control is obsolete. In the 21st century, when globalization is the case, such ideas are pure barbarism, and they will not work. So we conclude that these aggressive motives are intended to make the inner audience of Russia growl for the strong position and confrontation with the evil West, while hundreds of Russian villages, towns, and even administrative centers do not have gasification and sometimes even a basic canalization system. And we have yet another fake story about President of Ukraine Zelensky buying Hitler's Mercedes. As the Russian media Moscow Komsomolis writes, Zelensky has allegedly purchased this car in the US during his latest visit. Let's hear them out. Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky has bought a car that belonged to German Führer Adolf Hitler. Mercedes was used by him at the parade in Berlin after the surrender of France in 1940. Zelensky arrived at the administration building on Bankova Street in this car. This happened shortly after Zelensky returned from a tour in America. The article of Seattle Tribune says that the amount Zelensky paid for the Mercedes-Benz 770K is unknown, but according to experts, it could be about $15 million. From the publication by the Moscow Komsomolets. Interestingly, this Russian newspaper is quoting an allegedly American publication, Seattle Tribune. The website with such name was registered just at the beginning of October. The Internet Archive shows what it looked like on October 3, 2024. No material has yet been published there, and the website has been created from a template. And they are also trying to prove this with an edited screenshot of a Ukrainian Telegram channel as the propagandist claim. Let's just look at this Photoshop image and compare it with the original file. And in case you still wondered what Russians really want to do, I emphasize not the military need, but just their sole inner desire is to destroy everything and everyone who does not yield to their grip. Just listen to another Solovyov broadcast and the peaceful sinking of speakers to blow up bridges and dams in Kyiv. Why does a railroad station exist in Kyiv? Where, by the way, trains are arriving. Why haven't all entry points into Ukraine been destroyed? There are not so many of them, it's a countable number. Yes, they are recovering quite quickly, but psychologically it is a good blow. And the bridges in Kyiv, and the bridges in Kyiv, and the bridges in Kyiv, dams and all the bridges, everything should be destroyed. We should be kind and value the life of a Russian soldier, not a Ukrainian nationalist. So that's it. The face of Russian propaganda is hate speech. And after Russians start speaking bad about your country, and for many times in a row they usually mean they are gonna see their tanks at the border sooner or later. It depends on how far physically from Russians you are. So stay informed, be vigilant in the information sphere, and don't let propaganda win. Ooh, yeah,